So guys, welcome back to another one. And yeah, you already read the title, you already seen the thumbnail, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so yesterday I made a video with a new data character, the unknown one from the Tower of God, of course, and I actually really liked him. I kind of fell in love with that character because he does do a lot, like his path is really complicated, but like he works, right? And he does a lot of damage when you combine it with the Queen Helen, of course, in Albedo. So I think unironically, <laughs> unknowns are on top again. But that aside, uh, we got Yuri today. And we are in Ungert. I didn't give her gear because, like I said, we are in Ungert. Um, and unironically, I think she can be really good too because her skills and her passives uh, are like really good, like a, as a support for the humans. So what she does is, of course, with the uh, with the single target attacks, it doesn't matter which one. Like even with a level one, that's really huge. Uh, she removes uh, stances with a level one. Like uh, what I think about is when 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 I say like a stance removal, I think about Ghislaine, right? Because the Ghislaine actually like does that too. But now for a human to do that, that's actually pretty massive. Uh, okay, so for her AoE, what she does with her AoE, of course, uh, she attack seals you and she removes all the buffs with a level 2. I know, that sounds really insane. Um, so when you have some buffs on your characters, no, you don't uh, you don't have any buffs anymore because Yuri is in the game and you can't actually attack anymore because Yuri is in the game. So it sounds really good to be true. So I want to try her out today because I saw a lot of clips where she goes really insane. Uh, also with her passive, right, she buffs up... Uh, with every human ally, she buffs up like 5% in the battlefield, so that's actually pretty huge too. So I made this team today, full-on human team, with of course Eskinor the one ultimate, because hey, we already know how much damage he does. And of course with a bond because of those debuffs and his passive for the human allies. And of course a non-nashi in the back because he gives those little beautiful little buffs, right? And we actually love to see it. So yeah, honestly, I think this is going to be really fun to play around with. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this Yuri will actually like outshine the data that I used yesterday. I doubt it. It, but I have some hope for it and I, I'm willing to let her prove me wrong. So of course with that being said guys, if you like this sort of content of course consider liking, consider subscribing, it really helps out the channel and it honestly makes my day. And with that being said guys, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the day. If you're gonna summon for the Tower of God collab of course, I wish you the best of luck. And with that being said guys, let's get on to our first match of the day with our Yuri. And, I, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I think she likes being on ice if you know what I mean. So, for our first match of today, we are up against a really weird team. We do out CC and what quite a lot too. Okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna question it. So, let's actually do this. Wait, let's actually go for the old. Why not? Let's AoE here because then we uh, attack seal them if I'm correct. And also, the buffs are gone. So, the Demon King buffs are just gone. So, let's try that and then do a single target attack actually on the DK. And is she gonna do a lot of damage? Oh no, wrong, yeah, I don't. Mind if she doesn't do a lot of damage. Yeah, 30k damage with a level 2 AoE. Okay, that's fine though. That's fine. Look at that. The buffs are gone. Okay, they aren't attack sealed quite yet, but that's fine too. The buffs are gone and that's all, all that matters. Uh, I think she's more like a support type unit for the humans because everyone knows the humans like actually need support types now. Um, so I'm actually not too mad about it because like Roxy was really good for how long she lo how long she lasted, right? But Roxy's not really quote unquote viable now uh, because she's kind of like outdated, even with her holy relic, right? Don't get me wrong, she isn't the worst, but yeah, she's just not there anymore. But for this Yuri to be so good, I I I, I think I think the humans can make a comeback maybe if it, if they are lucky. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's fine. Yuri's still alive because of the rest time I link. That's actually pretty insane and pretty impressive. So let's actually go for her ultimate here. Uh, is this gonna do a lot of damage? It is a stance removal though, so it should be fine, right? It should be fine. Let's see a level 2 single target attack. Okay, 13k damage. Not too bad. Also guys, let me know down in the comments, am I playing her wrong? Because this, like, in reality, this is the first time I'm, like, actually playing with her in PvP. And, like I said, let me know down in the comments below if I like actually do something wrong with her, if she has like a different playstyle from what I use. Uh, because that actually like helps helps me for the future, right? Okay, so we got her ultimate. She has uh, Nanashi links too, so that's actually pretty huge. Her ultimate, 1 out of 6, I know. I'm a 50 player player, if you didn't know it already. Uh, and guys, I know shameless plug, but go check out the summoning video. We The, the summoning was like actually insane. The things we got were actually insane. We were really lucky. Um, okay, he can't. Can he kill my Yuri? Can he kill my Yuri? Nanashi actually coming in clutch in the back? What? 
Uh, okay, so we got a lot of stance removal cards. Not what we wanted in this uh, match, but that's totally fine. Uh, let's do her ultimate, and I think we just... Wait, let's actually focus the melee too. Can we... Can, yeah, okay, so let's focus the melee. Let's do the ult, let's do the single target attack. Let's do another single target attack from our bond, and I think we should be fine. Uh, let's see, what does she do? Ooh, looks cool. Looks really cool. 52k damage, okay, not too bad. Then we single target attack. Okay, so with her ultimate, right? They Okay, he's just gone. He's just gone. <laughs> he's just gone. Okay, I think she's she's a really good human buffer. That that's my uh, that's my opinion. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. Like Yuri on ice. I I mean like Yuri from Tower of Gods. <laughs> like actually the goat. And yeah, I think we just literally win here. We can he can't do anything. We got a lot of Yuri cards, but not the cards I wanted, because this like a stance removal and nobody here is using a stance. If you go up against a unknown team with an albedo, that it's gonna be huge, like it's gonna be huge. But when you are facing like a team without a uh, counter or like a stance character, uh, yeah, you don't really have much for her to do. Except for the AoEs, but we didn't get, we get any, we didn't, we didn't get any AoEs. That's fine though, that's fine. Let's do this. And can we take out the bond right away? Can we? Can we? Yeah, we can. 250k damage. Damn, that's actually insane. Um, and there goes the Escanor. So we won our first match actually pretty pretty easily. But yeah, keep in mind too, his CC was not so high. So let's get on to our second match. Maybe against an unknown team with an albedo. Who knows? Okay, so for our second match, we are up against a uh, 7 Deadly Sins team. That's perfectly fine. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not going to lie to you uh, because that's the guy I am, right? I don't lie. Uh, well, not <laughs> not to you guys. Um, I've been playing for a while now. I've been playing for a while. Um, and Yuri, great character. Not a lot of damage output, but that's fine, right? We do not care about that. Let's actually do, let's actually do this. Um, what she does, like, buff removal with a level 2 AoE, stance cancel with a level 1 single target attack, that's great, really like it, he's using dodge food, damn. Uh, really great, really like it, I actually do really like that. But, what I noticed is, keep in mind she's a human, so you kind of have to use her in a human team. Everyone knows, humans are just not there, like PvP-wise in this game. Let's be honest, I I'm not gonna talk around it. So what she does, she's great for what she does. Her her kit, great. If she was an unknown character, she would be one of the best characters out there. But just because she's a human, right? Just because she's a human, I think her value diminishes. Don't get me wrong, it really sucks to hear that, and I know that, because I really want her to like actually like impress me, right? And she kind of does, but she is bound to a human team. And humans are just not physically there in this game. That's the only downside here, what I noticed. Uh, and let's actually do this, this, and then... Are we gonna take out the... Mm, mm, yeah, I, th I think we are just gonna focus. I, j I think we're just gonna focus him. Um, yeah, so that's the only thing I'm gonna say about her. Like, I really like her kit. I really like what she does. I really like what she stands for. Because she, she could be really great. And like I said, she could be one of the best characters out there if she was an unknown type with like an, Al in an, like an Albedo team, right? In a Queen Hell team, in an, in an Data team. But they just don't work together. Like, Data does not work great with her. Because Data is an unknown character and she's a human character, like I said. So that's the only downside that I've noticed. So, for her cards and skills, perfect. Race, just not there. That's the only thing I want to say. If we win, we win here. If we lose, we lose. It is what it is. I'm, I have been recording for over an hour now, and I'm kind of tired, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. So, I'm gonna hopefully win this match. I don't think I am. No, I am not. That's fine. Um, let's get on to our uh, final match, I think. Yeah, let's just go uh, get on to our final match. So, for our final match, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, if we lose this one, we lose. I, I'm hungry, I'm tired, I wanna see my family. Please, Yuri, let's win this match, please. Um, yeah, so like I said, right, um, it, what's it, what I want, <laughs> damn, I can't even speak, man. I'm sorry, my bearing did not work. Um, so, the story of Yuri, best, not best, great character, wrong ways, that sums it up, that sums it up. Uh, and let's see, there goes the tear, that's huge, damn. Um, and yeah, also like the thing, I really like the buff removal. 
with the level 2 AoE. But what people don't understand is we are in Grand Cross PvP. So the things you do is like RNG based. It's literally RNG based. So I've been I've been doing matches and I won't show you that matches because they were really boring. Where I had Yuri with just just single target attacks against a demon team, right? Or like against a unknown team without the albedo. So you couldn't really do it nothing with the single target attacks so you kind of need to uh, need to aoe with yuri but you you don't have a lot of aoe's if it's like rng wise you get what i'm saying here do you are you guys picking up what i'm saying because look at this buff removal from the albedo huge insane you love to see it rng comes in uh, into the room there it goes um uh, but that's fine uh let's see yeah like i said we do not even have single target attacks from our uh, Ascanor. Well, the AoEs are fine. And we can finally stance cancel with our Yuri. <laughs> and guys, uh, don't get me wrong. I, th th this video is just not to hate. It's just literally my opinion. So I get it if you don't like my opinion. But yeah, let me know down in the comments. What do you think of Yuri? Do you like actually like it? And let's be honest, right? Be honest. Do you actually like Yuri or am I just hating for no reason? Uh... Because she isn't bad. I'm not saying she's bad, but like the humans are just not physically there. Uh, that's the only downside. Uh, so we do have Yuri's ultimate now. No, we do not. I miscounted that. I miscounted that. That's that's horrible. Uh, he's going to put up another stance, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the bond is just not going anywhere. What are we going to do? We are going to sacrifice Yuri. I I'm done with that. We are going to sacrifice Yuri there. Let's do a single target attack from our Ascanor and then a, uh, a single target attack from our uh, Bon here. Okay, buff remove. Yuri is going to go away. Oh, wait, she's still alive? Oh, damn. That's huge. We didn't buff remove. <laughs> I uh, misplayed, I guess. That's fine. Brain does not want to work after like an hour of uh, playing Red Cross. Uh, we are still fine, though. We are still fine. Okay, what is he gonna do? He's gonna ult for sure, right? He's gonna ult for sure. He's gonna put up another AoE, I think. Yeah, he is. But we, this time we do have an uh, uh, counter. Uh, stance cancel, I'm sorry. And Bond's still alive. Okay, that's huge. Okay, so let's... Uh, Stance cancel them. Let's stance cancel. Let's do a double AoE. Let's kind of like push our uh, ultimate from our uh, Escanor. And then hopefully we win. And then I can see my family and eat something. <laughs> also, I'm playing the new One Punch Man game. Don't know if I said this already or not. Uh, but it is really fun. The only downside is the summoning and everything. Like it looks a lot like Genshin. And I don't really like the Genshin summoning animations. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, guys. Let me know down in the comments below what did you think of Yuri. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So bye-bye.